And welcome back to, again to another Nerd Mark II video. I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how you guys can make yourself a strider farm. Now, this is using the new features in 1.17, including powdered snow block, as you can see. Now, it's very simple. All you got to do is get yourself a snow block and put yourself a skeleton inside. And as you can see, eventually he will start to shiver just like this. As you can see, he is shivering. Now, once he's staying there for quite some time, he turns himself into a strider. He turns himself into a strafe, as you can see. And then once you kill him with a loot and free sword, you can actually pick yourself up some potion of uh, arrows of slowden. slowness. <laughs> I can't speak. Anyway, these basically make you go slow if you hit yourself with it. Well, they didn't really work so I'm in a uh, creative. Anyway. It's a very simple design and this is going to be using a spawner so all you got to do put yourself down some skeletons just like so and they will eventually make their way in and as you can see they are taking damage by the magma so that way they're not as hard to kill and then all you got to do is wait for them to come down and as you can see inside here we've put snow block so they will start to turn themselves into a strafe and then once they do that, they will convert and we can just come down here, whack away. It'll be two hits just because they've taken a damage from the magma cubes and look, it'll pick up all your arrows of slowness just like that. So how are we going to build this? Well, let me show you. So once you have located yourself a spawner just like so, what you want to do is you just want to light it up just to stop things from spawning at the moment and then all you got to do is dig yourself out a nine by nine room from the spawner so just count the spawner as one and go along four blocks so that'll be the fourth block so you know you need to take out this here and then you just repeat the process again just like so and then this is the wall that you go back to and then the same on all four sides so once you've got your room dug out just like so i've just put a little decoration onto it just to brighten it up and make it look a bit more appealing anyway so we're going to start making this just the normal way of making a normal skeleton grinder so we're going to come to the middle just like so and we're going to dig out a few blocks now we're going to pick a direction and go this way and we're going to make sure we want to clear the actual room so if we go here just dig out a couple blocks we should be clear so now what we're going to want to do we're going to want to dig ourselves up a few blocks just so we clear the room again all the way to the top and then what we're going to want to do is count how many blocks from here we've dug out so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so there's eleven there so we're eleven so we need to make sure to clear out eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so what we're going to want to do is dig out a room just here once you've dug out your room what you want to do is go where the spawner is and come to the middle so the middle be here so what we're going to want to do we're going to want to put down a chest just there break these blocks here break that one there and put a hopper feeding into it just like so now grab yourself a slab of your choice and just place on top now here's what we're going to want to do we're going to want to dig up a few blocks just like there and then continue with our path in towards the other side so we're going to want to just go back all the way here so dig out your blocks all the way towards the end and then what you going to want to do is find what level you was at over here so stand on here go to your cords and we are at y we are at x411 by 3519 so that's the level we have to go to so 3519 so we got to go a few more blocks one two and there's our hole so what we're going to want to do now is get yourself a magma block and one and place down eight so one two three four five six seven eight so eight should be enough for them to be two taps so you, and now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create ourselves a bubble elevator system going all the way along so we're going to have to put a sign here to stop the water overflowing and what we're going to want to do is put put water here so it flows through put a sign here some water here and just continue the process going along so once again let's to make it even better so we're just gonna put again sign there you can see sign there water here and that will go all the way towards the end so now that's that's so now that's done to make their transition a little bit more smoother what you're gonna want to do is replace all the floor with ice blue ice preferably just so they all get pushed and slide all along just like that and then that's that bit done and then to get them up what we're gonna have to do is we are gonna want to put ourselves a sign here stop the water going through but we're gonna make another bubble water column just like here going along again because it doesn't reach the end put a sign there put a sign there and let's put some water there 
and there we go. And then once again, you can replace all the floor with blue ice if you have it on hand because it will make them slide a lot faster. So now let's make the bubble elevator. So what you're going to want to do is replace this block with soul sand, put yourself some kelp, and then go all the way up and let us waterlog everything. Once you fill it all up with kelp, come back, go all the way down, break all the kelp, and that will waterlog it for you. Put yourself a sign here just so the water doesn't flow outward. Now that that is done, what we're going to want to do is come to the end. And as you can see, this feeds onto here. So what we're going to want to do, now we need powdered snow, and you can get this stuff by a snowy biome and just put down a cauldron i'm gonna need a cobweb now i'm gonna have to come here i'm gonna have to put powdered snow block there cobweb there and another powdered snow block there and once that's done what you gotta do close this bit off just to make sure nothing gets out break yourself down a hole here just all around it and now that is pretty much done so all we have to do now is get yourself glass to fill this bit in here but first off take off all the torches go to each corner place down a water bucket just like so and everything got funnel to the middle take off every single torch you see and to make sure no light level gets in grab yourself some new tinted glass if you have it on hand and just give yourself a nice viewing platform make sure to take out all the torches over here that you placed and then last but not least place yourself a slab on top so nothing spawns up there and you are done as you can see they will come down turn into a strafe the stuff will get collected and that's job done to show you how it works go into spectator mode and you can see the process of them going along so as you can see they're all going across here they'll get shot up the bubble elevator and they'll all get pushed along and they'll end up pushing each other across then as you can see as they hit that they'll take their damage that they need to just to give them a bit of damage fall down into the snow start getting affected the cobweb will hold them a bit then once you're done you just come along and whack away if you have a looting free sword sweeping edge and if you have yourself a sharpness five they will be killed in two hits so as you see i got myself my sword now and if i just whack away it doesn't take that much damage to kill him and then it'll pick up everything that you need and that's how you build yourself a little straight farm easy 1.17 way let me know anything else you want me to build